The Hoosier Lottery currently celebrating its 30th anniversary in operation, but that's not all. It's recognizing those that are being impacted. Indiana's retired police, firefighters, and teachers, some that get the money. Joining me is the Hoosier Lottery's executive director, Sarah Taylor. It's been a while. Sarah, good morning. Good morning. Hey, let's talk about a little bit first about what the state is has been going through a lot now during this crisis. The lottery celebrating contributions that our Hoosier heroes are making. What are you guys doing? Well, this is that special time of the year when we celebrate our beneficiaries, police, firefighters, and teachers with national days and national weeks. So we're joining in too and saying not only did they give during their public service, but they're giving during the pandemic. So, and we're wanting to capture those stories. Yeah, so what are, you, what are you doing specifically? Do you want people to reach out to you to tell you about it? How is this working and exactly what will you be doing? Have them go to our website. Anyone can report a story about one of our public servants and the police, firefighter, or teacher. Fill out a form. We'll follow up with an interview. And then we're making it part of our website and some other exciting things down the road. All right. We want to tell that story, too. Yeah, we want people to, to see some of those that are getting some of the money that the lottery you know, makes. Let's talk a little bit about that. Um, I always get that question when we do a story on the lottery. You guys have been giving away money really since 1989. Where does the money go specifically? So every year, 30 million to the retired police and firefighter fund, 30 million to the teacher retirement fund, and the remaining dollars go into what's now called the lottery surplus revenue fund. And that's where we offset the motor vehicle excise tax up to 50% off. So for example, when you get your license plate. Let's talk a little bit too about how the virus has impacted um, the business, A, how you're conducting business, and have you seen sales go down because people aren't out as much, you know, going to the gas station and not walking in and buying the lottery ticket? So traditionally, you know, we've all had to change how we're doing business and we're working to ensure that our employees and our consumers and players and retailers are all following certain guidelines. And so we've been processing all the claims by mail, but starting today, we are taking appointments for half days um, over the coming weeks to ensure people can come in every so many minutes and have a spot. Um, and so, yes, right away we saw a decline, obviously, like other businesses. But please keep in mind, a lot of our retailers, those grocery stores, convenience stores, and those gas stations are still open. They're considered essential. And so our products are available when someone's in there. Sarah, last word. we got about 15 seconds. If there's something else I didn't know to ask, what do you want people to know? Well, please play responsibly. That's a message that we've had before. We will always have. We encourage people to honor the social distancing when they're in the store. Use our mobile app to check your tickets. You don't need to do it necessarily while you're at the store. You can do a quick pick or use a mobile play slip off our mobile app. Hey, thank you so much. It's so good again to see you. We hope you have a great week. Thanks, Angela. You're welcome. If you'd like